back when the first Star Wars came out, a punk rocker named Tomata Duplenty was hot stuff. Tomata is plenty busy these days, not on stage, but with a new career as an offbeat artist. Paul Verkamen on more with this brush with fame. One thing about Lucy, she always had these great eyebrows. Lucille Ball was just one vivid subject. She was almost like a, what you'd say, an elegant bozo. <laughs> Another portrait by New Orleans artist Tomata Duplenty. More on that Technicolor name later. Is that a New Orleans legend? That's Domino. It's an exuberant chronicle of pop culture. Elvis Presley and Colonel Tom Parker. Jack Kerouac, all Tomata master strokes. It's good therapy and it keeps me out of trouble. I used to get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> There goes trouble. Rewind more than two decades ago, Tomato led a rebirth in L.A.'s music scene as lead singer of the Screamers. His contemporaries included X. It was very groundbreaking. I mean, it was the first band in L.A. that I ever saw was the Screamers. Axine Cervenka put on a Tomato exhibit at her now-defunct L.A. store. Fans include actress Ann Magnuson. His work is very evocative of the era. Uh -huh. <laughs> An era that we do miss, and it gets constantly revived. The Go-Go's Jane Weedland bought her own portrait. Why don't you make my boobs really big? Uh -huh. Thank you. When Tomato paints rock stars, he often adds literary illusions. Punk rock, especially in the early days, these people had library cards. The Sex Pistols and the Pit and the Pendulum. I broke my leg. Uh, geez, uh, about 10 years ago, and I was bored to death, and I found a little paint kit in the alley in Hollywood Boulevard. He's packed on the paint ever since. Nice big lips. Starts with all black like a chalkboard, signs as Tomata, that name again. I have an older sister, Iris, and Daisy, and when I came along, my folks just nicknamed me Tomata. And the Duplenny, that's 100% fraudulent. I made that up. Fitting for a punk rocker turned painter. I have no technique. I've never taken an art lesson. Simply reinvent himself on canvas. Paul Verkamen, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood.